Stephen, who will be affected by the president's new vaccine mandate? Quite a few people. Um, the mandate uh, has been indicated uh, to impact about 85 million uh, people in the United States. And that covers all employees of employers with 100 or more employees. And so what we saw previously was a, a mandate for all federal workers. This is now, uh, this has expanded that significantly. Talk about what the regulations will be in terms of when people need to be vaccinated and if they choose to forego vaccination, what happens next? Sure. Um, the vaccination date is January 4th, but there are requirements for employers that need to be in place by December 4th. Um, most large employers are already complying with the December 4th mandate, but people do need to be vaccinated by the beginning of January. Um, this law is somewhat different than the one impacting healthcare workers. Healthcare workers really didn't have a choice. It was either to be vaccinated or unemployed. The mandate that we're dealing with now for private employers allows private employers to uh, have employees remain unvaccinated if they agree to be tested on a weekly basis. So it's, it's slightly different, but private employers can mandate that everyone must be vaccinated similar to the healthcare law mandate. But this testing um, is not, it's not incumbent on the employer, am I correct, to provide that testing or to pay for that testing? How is, how is the employee yeah. supposed to handle that? You're correct. The uh, em employer does not have to pay, but the mandate does require employers of 100 or more to give their employees up to four hours of time off to go get tested, and it's four hours of paid time off. So there is a, a cost to employers, but the cost itself for the testing is to be borne by the employees. Uh, there are provisions also made for people to take time off uh, to get vaccinated, right? And any effects? Yes, the vaccinations, uh, that's really what I was referring to. The four hours is to go get vaccinated and the employee bears the cost of the vaccination. Um, those who don't want to get vaccinated and do need to get tested on a weekly basis, those tests are also at the employee's expense. If, um, if there's a high degree of compliance, is there any guidance in terms of mask wearing? And at what point companies can kind of comfortably, safely uh, remove those mask requirements? Well, the only requirement in the mandate are mask requirements for people who are unvaccinated. Uh, and by unvaccinated, I mean uh, people who are fully vaccinated, meaning for Certain of the uh, vaccines, they're required to have two vaccinations. The Johnson & Johnson one, it's only one va vaccine, but those employees do not have to be, uh, do not have to wear masks in the workplace, only the unvaccinated. How do you think that this, this mandate will be received by businesses? Very quickly. I think it will be well received because in part, it allows the employer to say, OSHA is requiring this. It's not necessarily coming from us, the employer. Um, and uh, so it, in essence, it enables employers to somewhat pass the buck here. Stephen Adler, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.